क्वेश्चन फाइव ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज सेज इन दिस गिवन फिगर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर थ्री पी क्यू इज पेपेंडिकुलर टू पी एस दैट्स वाई वी हैव दिस सिम्बल हेयर पी क्यू इज पेपेंडिकुलर टू पी एस पी क्यू इज पैरल टू एस आर सो पी क्यू इज पैरल टू एस आर एंगल एस क्यू आर इज ट्वेंटी एट डिग्रीज दिस एंगल एंगल क्यू आर टी इज सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्रीज क्यू आर टी सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्रीज देन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई so x is this angle here and y is this angle here so what we'll do is we'll first find the value of x and the way we'll do that is we'll make use of the fact that this whole angle at q which is pqr and this angle at r which is qrt these two angles are equal um because they are they are a pair of alternate interior angles that will enable us to find x and once we have x then we will apply the angle sum property in triangle pqs because two of the three angles would be known so we can find the third angle which is y so let's use this reasoning so we have angle pqr is equal to angle qrt this is because this uh, these angles form a pair of alternate interior angles on pq uh, and st as parallels and this line this segment qr as the transversal all right so this means that now what is pqr pqr this whole angle is actually the sum of two angles it is the sum of x and 28 degrees so pqr can be written as x plus 28 degrees and this is equal to qrt which we know to be 65 degrees so x is simply 65 minus 28 which is equal to 37 degrees so we found the value of x now let's apply um in triangle pqs in triangle pqs let me highlight it for you p q and s so this is the triangle that we are considering now we we'll, we will apply the angle sum property in this triangle um so apply angle sum property so the three the sum of the three angles so angle p plus the angle at q which is angle pqs and the angle at s which is angle psq the sum of these three should be 180 degrees now angle p this angle is 90 degrees so 90 plus angle pqs is this angle which is x which is we have found as 37 degrees and angle psq is actually write this as y because angle psq is y and this is equal to 180 degrees so 90 plus 37 is uh 127 so y is equal to 180 minus 127 and this is equal to 50 3 degrees so the answer to question 5 is that the value of x is 37 degrees and the value of y is 53 degrees and that solves question 5 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers